That's right, it's time for another summon video, but today we are gonna finish where we left off, not with the summons, we're just gonna, actually, wait, 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 before we get into that, I'm pretty sure he's got a crazy amount of LDs. Oh, he's got five Transcendence, he's got Assassin's Creed, he's got SWC, he's got nine year special scrolls, he's got 328 of those. He's got plenty of legendaries, he has over 120 LD scrolls. Oh my god, let's uh let's get it started, I guess. It's a lot of stuff. Uh well I was gonna say we're gonna finish what we started talking about the la I don't know what order these videos are going in. I never do. Um, but if they are going in the order that I intend them to be uh getting published in. Well also I don't know if you guys are even watching them in I don't know if you guys are watching them at all. I don't know if you guys are watching them in the same order that I'm making them. Whatever. We started talking about movies in the last uh the last video that was recorded. Now we're gonna and I said we would talk about PlayStation games, upcoming PlayStation games in the next one, because we never talk about PlayStation games. So now we are gonna talk about actually let's see what he's looking for first. Mm, any new LD5 and premium RTA units? Well you do have some LD scrolls. What is the best chance for... Oh, there's a lot of stuff that he could be... He's got the new ones, but not the old ones. You usually don't see that. It's usually the other way around. Very interesting. I'm trying to see what the best... Uh... Oh, he's, miss he's missing the wind boomerang. A lot of wind units... We can go for any of these first. Uh, we may as well just go for the mysticals first. Why not? I want to get these down to a multiple of 10 though, first. But I'm just thinking in terms of blessing. Yeah, so there's games coming out on PlayStation and some of them might not be bad. Maybe, I don't know. We will find out soon enough. Or we won't because I'll just procrastinate the entire time. Was it IGN that we were looking? Yeah, we could just look at the same the same page that we uh, looked at for the movies. Okay, what's coming out in terms of games? Oh, there's TV shows coming out too. No, we don't need to do TV shows. It's gonna be stupid. It's gonna be stupid garbage. Uh, <laughs> wait a second, what? Oh, speaking of stu stupid garbage. Uh, cats hidden around the world. Uh, oh, I guess that already came out. Already came out. Hey, wind, uh, wind twin angels. Hashtag twinning. Let's not make that a hashtag. That's a... Uh... Dread Pilots. The Dread Pilot Roberts. No, I'm just... Obviously joking. No one understands that joke. Two people. Let me say that again. The Dread... So the game is called Dread... I just want to make sure the two people listening that are going to get this joke get the delivery, okay? The game is called Dread Pilots. So I said... The Dread Pilot Roberts. Okay. Two of you. This much amused. Not very amused. But I, uh, yeah, okay. I guess I'm one of those two people. Okay. Uh, it's a Princess Bride joke. It's the Dread Pirate Roberts. I, I, guys, I gotta stop making jokes that I have to explain. <laughs> that just means they're not funny. Hey. <sighs> Anyway, <laughs> uh, Drova Forsaken Kin. Uh, it kind of looks like that it says Drova Foreskin, but it does not. Just in case you're curious, that's not what it says. Knights of the Rogue Dungeon. Blackjack. Ooh, the game Blackjack is coming out, guys. Very exciting. Uh, Psycho Robots? Okay. Corn Sweeper! God, why? Micro Machines Mini Challenge Mayhem. I saw this, and then I was like, what? And then it was for VR. So I don't know if the PlayStation version is for VR as well. Yeah. 
Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Tintin Reporter, Cigars, Cigaros of the Pharaoh, Cigars of the Pharaoh, Toy Trains VR. Why? Why though? No, don't make, don't make that. Turnip Boy robs a bank. Wait, that's already a game though. Well, this is the PlayStation list we're looking at. It could be a game on PC that's not on PlayStation yet. Uh, and Shrouded, which we talked about in the other one. It's kind of like uh, Dark Souls-ish. I, I don't know if it's har as hard as Dark Souls and the Souls games, but it's like similar in gameplay styles to that. Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. Roots of Yggdrasil. We'll take a look at that one. Dream of Star Heaven. I don't know what that is. Phantom Abyss. Tekken 8. Tekken 8. We're making too many Tekkens. Here's a guy with a leopard face. <laughs> Oh, Power World is coming out for PlayStation. Wait, is this all PlayStation? Oh, this just, oh, this is all platforms. Oh, God help us. Okay. So that means Micro Machines is, I'm curious. No, it's still, v it's VR only. So I don't want, I don't want VR only. Okay, let's not look at all of them. I just want to see the PlayStation ones because if it's for other consoles and not uh, if it's for like Steam and other stuff, then it's gonna be grap. Uh, gonna be grap. Gonna be crap. Crap with a C. C R A P. Let's play Toy Trains. Speaking of crap, <laughs> Toy Trains, a playful tr track building VR game where you create your own small world and engage in captivating storyline. It's all about imagination, creative thinking, having fun. And trains. Wow, trains! You don't say. I didn't know that the game Toy Trains VR was about trains. Roots of Yggdrasil. What is the... Oh, what? Cell Shaded City Builder. It looks kind of cute. Uh, this has no screenshots or description. Phantom Abyss. What is this? Oh, it's like all the uh, <clears throat> all the running and jumping puzzles from Genshin Impact, but instead, it is like Legends of the Hidden Temple. Actually, it's kind of like Legends of the Hid Hidden Temple. It's just a bunch of platformer, three platformer puzzles. Okay, Phantom Abyss, massive asynchronous multiplayer game that casts players into procedurally generated temples and tasks them with retrieving the sacred relics hidden with deadly hidden within the deadly chambers corn sweeper corn sweepers a chill and whimsical reimagining of a beloved classic mind sweeper a meditative mind sweep em up pop delicious popcorn avoid explosions oh, I, I get it now Psycho Robots, real-time strategy meets roguelike Pikmin meets Vampire Survivor. Okay, it's probably crap. Uh, <laughs> Knights of the Rogue Dungeon. Oh, we're not going to get anything exciting, are we? From here. I don't know why I skipped it. Getting good lightning, though. Knights of the Rogue Dungeon looks like Qbert. It's like a pyramid. From what this looks like, it looks like a pyramid game. Red Pilots, let's see. Can't really see too much there, just see some cartoon promo images, not actual gameplay. Drova looks like an open world game, I don't know. Action RPG that marries the dark grim tones of its genre with the mysticism of Celtic mythology. Encounter a society where ancient restless spirits and divided factions battle for dominance, uncover forgotten abilities, and unravel the secrets of a past shrouded in mystery. This, I, like, you can't actually, these game developers need to make better descriptions. <clears throat> Let's see PS5. I just want to see PS5 now. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done with, I'm done. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Grand Blue Fantasy Project Re, Project Relink. Juju Kaisen, no Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen Cursed Clash, Persona 3 Reload, Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League, 
Ultros, Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered. The boobs are not square anymore. Get hyped. <laughs> if there's enough people that would be hyped about that. Helldivers 2, Banisher's Ghost of Eden, Arzette the Jewel of Faramore. Let's continue summoning. We don't need to just talk and not summon. Garden Life, we don't need to see. Slave Zero X, King Arthur Knight's Tale, Pacific Drive. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Dark Wait, hold on. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Let's start knocking some of these off. I Okay, let's... Dark Light, there's a game called Dark Light. It is... I don't know. Uh, probably not that great. Let's move on. Tekken 8. It's Tekken. It looks solid. There's more shiny explosions and they're more shiny so that's nice and shiny grand blue i think everyone that is interested in grand blue already knows what that is jujutsu kaisen curse clash is anime game it looks mostly just like an anime i don't see any actual gameplay persona 3 reload let's actually see if we can get a description of what this is uh, ground up remake of the beloved Atlas RPG with new voice acting, music, and updated graphics. Persona 3 is shaping up to be better than ever. It could be interesting for uh, people that like the Persona franchise. Looks like it's done well. It doesn't look like it's an old game that's just... It looks like it's a new game. Oh, hey, speaking of water demons, congratulations. Yeah. But if you like the Persona franchise, very exciting. Helldivers... Looks nice. It's a shooter. It's a third-person shooter. Graphically looks gorgeous. Wow. What is this? It looks like it's Unreal Engine. I mean, it could be many different engines, but, you know. When something looks this good, oftentimes I'm like, oh, is this the Unreal? The Unreal Engine. Hey, speaking of Fire Indra, not bad. At least we're getting some Mad Fives. Uh, but this is a sequel anyway. Helldivers 2 can use the four-player co-op action as the peacekeeper step into another galactic war. Yeah. This could be solid. It's like space marines kind of thing. It's like Halo made with Unreal Engine and not Halo, I suppose. Less army and more gritty mercenary, I guess. Looking... Vanishers Ghost of... But that it looks very nice. But also, these are PS5 games we're looking at. Like PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. That one happens to be uh, PS5. So, they're they're not going to put it on PS5 unless it's worth putting on PS5. I would love to believe that, but I don't know if I believe that. So, we did get uh, another new Nat 5, Water Art Master. Not bad. Uh, all we see is the story here in Vanishers Ghost of New Eden. It's cannot be just a story game that's just what we're seeing looks like the if the last of us was a completely different story in a completely different universe it looks like someone wanted to make the last of us with different characters in a different world that's what it looks like to me. Set in the haunted wilds of North America in 1695, Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden is the action RPG called starring a pair of ghost hunters who vow to protect the living from the threat of lingering ghosts and specters. What is this? It's a... Uh, oh my god, it's so bad. Wow, we don't need a... Holy crap. This is a joke, right? <laughs> oh my god. Or is that the Jewel of Faramore? Don't bother. Yikes. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. There's so many Final Fantasy games I can't keep track. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is the second chapter of the massive reimagining of the classic role-playing game Final Fantasy VII. Oh, oh! I didn't know that was this, what this was called. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to play it eventually. So, the thing that I don't know if I said what I was excited about. Uh, I started saying, like, oh, <laughs> I don't, and, and, and I didn't really say too much after that. 
So, there's a couple games that are getting uh, remakes. I'm actually surprised that this one's getting a remake. Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons remake. I, f I, I like to think that didn't come out very, uh, very long ago. Probably came out like 15 years ago. So, <laughs> I guess that could warrant a remake. <laughs> For me, it feels like it came out like two years ago. Uh, it, actually, a good game. Uh, it's a short game. It's like four hours long. One of the few games in the past... Uh, I feel like I only played games all the way through when I was, like, a child. And then anything after that, I'm like, I don't have time for this. I have to work. So, uh, yeah. But Brothers was one of those games that I actually played through. It's not very long, though, so it's not, like, a much of an accomplishment. It's a story game. It's a good story. It will tug at your heartstrings. All of these are new. What? Okay. Yeah. I'll take it. Not my account, but I'll, I'll take it for them. Uh, taxi life. Uh, oh, city driving simulator. Not that that's exciting, but looked not as bad as I was expecting, actually. I, I'm, I'm so used to seeing Steam games that are just like blocks. <laughs> like someone's Unity project. Like, I went to community college for game design and I made taxi driving simulator. I don't know. It looks not as bad as I was expecting, to be honest. Just drive Uber. You don't need to buy the game. Just drive. <sighs> well, Uber is terrible, probably. Um, the thing that I was actually excited. We didn't even get to that part yet. The thing that I was actually excited about that I didn't even say. Star Wars Dark Forces getting remastered. Is this actually remastered well? Okay, some of these screenshots look terrible, but these are the cutscenes. I want to see the gameplay. Is this? That's not a remaster. That still looks bad. Ah, F this game. I thought they were going to make it good. Okay, well, I'm all of a sudden very disappointed. Why? You don't, that's not a remaster. It looks like garbage. It looks like crap. It looks old. <laughs> okay. I, if you told me that wasn't a remaster, I'd be like, yeah, that's not a remaster. <laughs> it looks like 40 years old. I mean, I, the game is not 40 years old, but it's, it's old. Was it mid-90s? 95 or something like that? I don't know. Let's find out. Wikipedia, Star Wars Dark Forces, first person shooter game developed and published by LucasArts in 1995. Wow. How often do I nail it? Giggity goo. Uh, <laughs> it looks like it was made in 1995 though. I'm just trying to do like mental math. I'm like, okay, if I was at this and then that was, that was, where was I and when did this game probably come out so I figured it was like somewhere around there not necessarily I just got lucky with the 95 exactly but yeah unicorn overload I what what house flipper 2 oh god dragon's dogma 2 south park snow day march 26th Flint buckler wakes the sleeping cows can we not have more of this garbage Hairdresser Simulator. Why? God, why Why do people make these games? Hairdresser Simulator. Asked, no one asked for that. Nobody asked for that. Nobody, nobody asked for that. Oh, God. Why, why do these need to be games? I'll make a game. I'm gonna be like, Butt Wipe Simulator. Do you, do you not know how to wipe yourself? as it sells like a million dollars worth. And I'm like, okay, but wipe simulator too. I'm going to be part of the problem now and not the solution. <laughs> but wipe simulator three and each one makes more and more money. I don't know how the world works anymore, guys. I really don't. 
Shadow of the Ninja Reborn. I don't know. Some of these might be terrible. Some of these might. What is this? Okay. Unicorn Overload. Uh, what? So it's a. Fu okay. So Unicorn Overload is a fighting game. It's a. It's a. Uh, like a 2D, two, oh, no, it's not. It's it's a strategy game. Okay, it's a strategy game, right? It looked like a, a 2D fighting game. There's everything is on mounts. At, maybe not everything. Many many things are on mounts. Whether they are dragons or horses or unicorns or griffins, everything is on a mount. If you like strategy tactics games, yeah, this looks actually pretty decent. Unicorn Overlord. It looks like a solid... Uh, I, I, it looks Japanese. I don't know if it actually is from Japan or where it's actually from. Yeah, that that's, does not look bad. Okay. Oh, it's from Atlas. Give you information on that. Traverse the vibrant world of Fevrith and cultivate a grand army with over 60 unique characters in this tactical fantasy RPG. I was pleasantly surprised by that. Okay. Flint Buckler and the Sleepy Castle. You don't have any screenshots, which is lovely. There's a new Contra game coming out, which also does not have screenshots, which is also lovely. Operation Galaga. Galuga? Galuga. Oh my goodness, there is a game called Penny's Big Breakaway that is, looks like it's for the Sega Saturn. There's some actually pretty solid platformers on PC that if in case you're interested in any of those. Shadow of the Ninja Reborn looks like a claimed 2D ninja action side scroller with simultaneous two player gameplay. Returns in this new remake, choose between the male and female character and work together to defeat challenging enemies. It looks like a... It looks like a remake of a classic Nintendo game. I feel like this... I might have played this. It, it, it is apparently a remake. So. Hey, Water Battle Angel. I didn't even notice. Congratulations. Too busy looking at these. What is this? Legend of Heroes Trials of Cold Steel 3. Nice little RPG going on here. Looks like a, looks like a PlayStation 3 style RPG. There's some Gundams. There's more Gundams. There's people with blue hair. There's anime schoolboys with blue hair. Anime schoolgirls with pink hair. Hey, speaking of blue hair, Beast Rider. There we go, Water Beast Rider, very nice. It's uh, school, it, it's, it's school children with multicolored hair fighting with Gundams, fighting monsters with Gundams, got it. Gives me a Star Ocean vibe for whatever, well, maybe not whatever reason, like for obvious reasons, I, I suppose. <clears throat> Was Star, is that Star Ocean the one I'm thinking of? Or is it Xenogears the one I'm thinking of? But it's, it's better looking than that. What else do we have? Oh, wow. Pudding Princess. What are Pudding Princess? What else? We only have one game in May, according to that. Destiny 2, the final shape. Final Fantasy 16, the rising tide. Horizon Chase 2. I don't know. Horizon Chase looks like uh, Cruising USA. You guys remember Cruising USA? It was in like every arcade. Cruising USA, Cruising World. Cruising to the bank with all the uh, quarters people gave them over the, <laughs> over the years. What else? Earth Defense Force 6. I kind of remember that. Wasn't that like... Uh, a B movie game, but also it's like kind of cheesy, but also kind of not bad. Black Myth Wukong, 
that's been on Steam. They were showing that. Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2. Final Fantasy 14 Online Dawn Trail. First Ascendant, Trials Through Daybreak. Ambulance Life Ambulance Simulator. Mm. Cannot be realistic. I do not think that that is going to be a realistic game in the least bit. Neptunia, Game Breaker Revolution. Okay. Arc 2. Something to think about. Bare Butt Boxing. Mmm. Don't get excited. There's not the bare butts that you want. It's just ragdoll characters. Little squishy green and pink and blue characters. So. <laughs> oh, I know. We're all upset. We're all upset. Blue Protocol! Which doesn't have an actual release date. Bread and Fred. It's about two penguins. Okay. Cat Quest. City Skylines 2. Class of Heroes 2. Let's continue summoning. Let's see what else we get. Diablo 4. Vessel of Hatred. All right. Dungeon Defenders going rogue. I don't even need to see that to know what it is. It's the rogue, more roguelike gameplay, but Dungeon Defenders characters. <clears throat> what else do we have? Fallout 4, First Dwarf, Flamekeeper, Funko Fusion. Oh, Funko Fusion. Give me a fruit bus. Mmm. Rim Lord, Goblin Stone, Ghost Bike, God of Rifts, Battle for the Metalverse. Kind of curious. Okay. Harold Halibut, a handmade adventure game. Let's not. <laughs> Let's not and say we did. Hotel Renovator. Oh, God. <clears throat> what else? John Carpenter's Toxic Commando, Kaku Ancient Seal. Kitsune Tales. Wait a second. <coughs> Sorry. Metal Gear Solid 4. There's so much. There's so many games. Uh, Paper Animal RPG. Oh, God. <laughs> Paper. It literally says Paper Animal RPG. Looks just like Paper Mario RPG. I think we might have commented on this before. Either that or it's... This looks similar to something else. Song of New New League of Legends story. Star Wars Outlaws. I think this we talked about. Stranger Things VR. There's a lot of stuff that seems like it's not great. So I'm trying to not even... Wolf Among Us 2. Toxic Crusaders. Why? There's so... There's, they dumped everything in December. Because they're like, we don't know when it's coming out. We'll dump everything in December. Visions of Mana. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. War pause. We talked about that before. Not that, not that we. Not that it really matters. Visions of Mana looks. I mean, it's uh, it's the Secret of Mana franchise thing. I am sure. It is. Wow, looks really good. I don't know why I'm surprised that it looks really good. Like, why would they take that franchise and make something bad? Yeah, if you like Genshin, I I I know it's not Genshin. It's the Secret of Mana franchise. <clears throat> but um, for those of you that do like Genshin that are probably not watching this that would be a game to take a look at the original one nothing like Genshin uh, Genshin Genshin jeez what am I doing with my life guys let's do these nine year special scratchy <sighs> Vision of the Mono will return to the 
Return to the series, action RPG roots, and take players on a new adventure with protagonist Val, blah, 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 Tree of Mana. Yeah. <coughs> oh, which Onimusha do we want? Looks good though. It's it's not as it's not as anime as Genshin is. Right, because it's like Square Enix style characters. Square Enix does Square Enix things. So and it's a pre existing franchise, so it's not gonna look like not gonna look just like Genshin, but the world is an open world, there's a lot of Genshin y looking things. If you like that kind of environment then Genshin, Legend of Zelda, the open world Legend of Zelda games. Legend of Legacy HD Remastered. Uh, doesn't look exciting enough to really go crazy about. Stranger Things VR. <clears throat> eh. I don't know, kind of looks like Borderlands. Star Wars Outlaws. I believe this is the like a battle arena game. If this is the one I'm thinking about. It does not look like a battle arena game from the screenshots. I still think it is though. It looks like a Star Wars like it looks like a triple A Star Wars story based game. Experience the first person the, the first ever open world Star Wars game set between the events of the Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. He's like, oh, that's the same as the, like the... <laughs> yeah, really, you don't say. I don't know what they need from these. It's like the Shadows of the Empire era. Right? Star Wars Outlaws. First ever open world Star Wars game. What? So between the events of the Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, explored distinct planets across the galaxy. Let's do this, at least. Both iconic. I guess I'm thinking of a different game then. Because that is not this. Star Wars Outlaws is not the other one. Rusty Rabbit. What is this? A platformer rabbit game? Let's find out. It's a platformer. Uh, not really a platformer. It's a side-scrolling. 3D side so scroll graphically it looks nice though. <clears throat> if you want to play a 3D rabbit game side scroller. What else do we have? Paper Animal RPG. It's Paper Mario, but with not Mario characters. Uh, Kitsune Tales, which actually looks like Super Mario 3. Like really like Super Mario 3. But with a girl that looks like she's wearing a Kigurumi. But it looks, as, aside from that, it, wow, she's, okay. <clears throat> she is even in a big boot. It's not a green boot, it's a red boot. So it's not Mario, but it it is. It It is very Mario. I mean, of course, Mar it even has the, the, the question mark boxes are not quite, they're exclamation marks. Oh, there's a shark suit though. Oh, the shark suit is, why'd I fall for that? The shark suit is the frog suit. <laughs> I got excited for the shark suit, not realizing straight away what it was supposed to be. Or at, at least I assume it's the, the frog suit. But yeah, that could be something interesting if you're looking for Something like that. It, it, it seems well enough made. It's definitely supposed to look like it was made in the same year as Mario 3 on purpose. So, Harold Halibut. I don't know what this is. It's a story game. Oh, also. Oh, no, it's not blood. That's pink. Eh. I don't think you guys are going to be interested in that game. God of Rifts Battle for the Metalverse. Oh, there's not really too much here that I can see. However, nice. I, I like that we're getting no net fives from uh, from these. 168 left of these nine year scrolls. 
God of Rifts Battle for the Metalverse, an epic adrenaline pumping heavy metal game in VR that's like a hard rock cover come to life. Oh, new a new Wind Boomerang War. Congratulations. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. It's like a comic book style cartoon uh, metal VR game. Fruit bus, a journey of flavors and friendships in your cozy, customizable fruit truck. It's just a cartoon kids game. Gladiatrix, we'll take that. Funko Fusion, this is the one with the Funko Pops. It's just like a casual game with Funko Pops, right? Funko Fusion features dozens of playable characters in the Funko Pop form. You can choose from as you try to solve challenging puzzles. Doesn't really show much here. Cat Quest 3. Uh, we don't need to talk about Cat Quest 3, do we? It also doesn't show very much. Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh my god, okay. Well, I'm going to buy that and then get angry at myself for buying that. Uh, Bread and Fred. Two penguins. In a pixel art adventure. Making snowmen. I have no idea what the game is about aside from that. Blazing Strike is a fighting game 2d fighting game <clears throat> blue protocol i'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with blue Pro there's nothing on it here uh but a lot of people are hyped about blue protocol blue, blue protocol sapphire mmorpg player select from multiple oh my god can we please get an f5 please Players select from multiple classes and jointly explore the planet Regnus and discover the mysteries of forgotten civilization. Doesn't really do it justice. I know a lot of people are excited about that game. Last I checked anyway. I thought we were going to see some more on this. Berserk Boy. Oh, can we please get some Nat 5s? Berserk Boy looks like Mega Man. That actually looks pretty solid. Looks like Mega Man X. But in anime, Mega Man. Because he's got some crazy hair. It looks well made though. It's 2D on purpose, but it looks well made. Oh, can we please, can we please get some Nat 5s? Oh my god. Yeah, if you're looking for a Mega Man X experience, the X is for experience. That could be one for you. Black Myth Wukong looks visually very, very well made. Oh my god. Wow. That is very high fidelity. Oh my god, can you please stop giving us mediocre four stars? Nah, some of them are okay, I guess, but yeah. Yeah, Wuk that, the Wukong game has been, uh, wow, that is crazy. It's been getting a lot of attention. It's going to do very well, but it better do very well because I got to imagine they spent a crap ton of money making this game. Unreal Engine 5. From Game Science. Oh my god. <laughs> Black Myth Wukong is an epic action game inspired by the classic myth of the Monkey King. They didn't even put any effort into the description. They're like, we're going to sell this based on the graphics. Right. This perfect thumbnail right here. There we go. No, no one's going to click on the video. If that's the thumbnail. They're going to be like, oh, that's the best thing that you got? Planet of Lana. Young girl and her loyal friend embark on a rescue mission. Hold on, let's actually stick these things in storage. Chase. Let's see, let's see if we can. Is she a unit that we would want to build a second one for any reason? Or they would want... No, they didn't even finish the first one. Okay. Yeah. 
Any new LD5 and premium RT units. Planet of Lana is a story game. Looks very cute, actually. Wow, very stylized. Very artsy. Let's do this. We get two, though. Nice. I suppose we could see what else is coming out for... Is this a... Not five? Right. <laughs> right away. Hey, there we go. Very nice. Right away. What do we do? Let's do that again. This reminds me of uh, Fez, Planet of Lana. It's not the same... Because Fez is like a... Like you're playing on a constantly rotating world. And there's like other elements, uh, other elements to it, but... Let's go here. Let's do some... LDs, RNG, please. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Light Desert Warrior. I don't want to jinx it. If we run out of lightning, we'll bring Detective Pikachu. He's right here. You can't see him, but he's right here. I want the LD5. Though. Please, Pikachu. I swear to God, if you don't get us LD5s in this video, I am not going to do anything because Beans made you and I don't want to die. Also, I'm not that mean. Also, I don't know. I don't know. I how I don't know how to do this. Okay, there we go. Get us LD fives, Pikachu, please. Please. Oh my God! If he doesn't get us LD fives, I'll be so disappointed. Uh, what else? Tech. Why does it say tech here? <laughs> no results found. So why did you put it there? Yeah, that's. I wasn't really expecting much. I mean, there's other websites for that. I don't know. Oh, man. All right, let's let's jiggle these again. Come on, Pikachu. Let's go. LD5. Okay, we're, this is fine. This is, we're, we're at a great, on pace, on pace for maximum disappointment. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, Dark Neostone Fighter. No, thank you. Not getting a whole lot. Right. Okay, maybe, maybe Pikachu's uh, not doing so great today. And by not doing so great, I mean, oh, Lord, help us. Okay. Lightning. Okay. Light black tea bunny. So, yeah. This is going to be a, this is going to be a sad, sad, uh, yep. This is going to be a sad LD stash. Wow. I don't have high hopes for this. Seeing as we're halfway done and, and it has not been great. I want to bust out the Megans, but. Gee. Oh my god. Please, please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's getting ridiculous, this game. This better be like Tion Lang or something. Dark Blade Dancer. Hall of Heroes. Okay. Sculling. Well, maybe if we say that. Okay. Light Succubus. This is going badly. Okay, we put the Pikachu down. Pikachu's... Pikachu, you got, like, a couple more summons. If you're gonna do something... Okay, we put, we put you down. We put you down. We put this one up. We see if this one has better RNG. Hmm. Also bad RNG. Great. Fantastic. Uh, I'm starting to think this is worse RNG than, uh, okay. Please, LD5. Oh, my God. I know it's one in almost 300, right? So, it, it, there's no, first off, there's no guarantee. Second off, you know, 
We only had a little over a hundred. I just, I was really hoping for something here. Cause it's still, it's still over a hundred. That's still a lot of summons. That is still a lot of summons. Lightning. Dark Bomber. Wow. More LD Law. Okay, so we might be on average for the Lightning, but man, the units that we pulled are not great. Okay, more Lightning. I we're, we're at least on average for for that. Dark Duck Heavy Princess. We I mean we, we got a we got a decent amount of LD uh lightning, but now I can't sell these things for like $800 each because they don't work. Great. Thanks. Thanks, come to us. Ruin my business venture. There's a lot of, there's a lot of LDs. I know, I know it's, the rates are terrible, but I was hoping they wouldn't be. Hoping against hope. What else do we have? Let's see if there's any games coming out for Nintendo. Nintendo Switch. Anything? Let's only look at the good ones. Oh, nothing. Got it. Anything? Bueller, Bueller, anything? That's the same stuff as the other ones. Princess Peach Showtime. Mm, I know everyone here is excited about that. Unicorn Overlord. Unicorn Overlord is probably one of the better ones coming out. South Park Snow Day is just going to be... Well, when the rest of the stuff is is not good. <laughs> not that everything is not good, but a lot of stuff is not good. Splatoon 3. Exp oh, Expansion Pass. Oh, forgive me. Braid Anniversary Edition. Man, he made so much money on Braid. Like, I was not expecting. <sighs> okay, he got a Leo. Okay, that's, that's, that's good. That's good. Man, there's, okay, there's, there's nothing coming out. Jeez, very excited for the rest of the year. No point in playing video games when nothing good is coming out. I mean, I'm sure there's other stuff that's maybe some of you like that I'm skipping over, but jeez. Guess we gotta play Summoner's War more. Yeah. I don't see anything that crazy. Man, I'm I'm kind of bummed to be honest. I thought there was gonna be more exciting stuff. I know half the video is just me talking about games that are probably not that exciting. Feels like a blessing, right? Nope, just kidding. It felt like one. We should have gotten more, right? I, I was paying attention to the other games, and sometimes I, I I like that because then I will not pay attention to summons being bad. But we got some stuff. I'm trying to think if we're like how below average we are. I don't know why I'm going there. Losing my mind, guys. Okay, so this is what we got so far. Eh, could be, could be worthwhile, worthwhile stash. Well, I mean, we're not done yet. Maybe I'm 
so used to crazy summon video because those are the ones that go on YouTube because the bad summon videos don't go on YouTube. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, we're getting some, some solid new units. Solid new units. Any new LD5 and premium RTM. Well, Leo's pretty premium. CR can be premium. Did we get him premium RTA units? Did we get him... Uh, we, we got a few. We got a few. So now that you have the uh, the Leo, and then your opponents will just ban him every match. Not necessarily true, but it is one of the top five. It should still be one of the top five most banned. If I do, I'll do another Lucian because, of course, Douglas pretty high ban rate. Leo is second. Well, the the numbers that I put in, but it's the beginning of season. So when I say the numbers that I put in, I put it at a minimum of one hundred battles. Beginning of season, the time that I'm recording this. So, a lot of these things don't have a crazy amount of battles just yet. But Leo's second. Dalmon. Water Chimera. Wild. Sonia. Also. Simon. <laughs> Dalmon Simon. Hey, purple one. Very nice. Oh, we, we didn't uh we didn't change the list. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we got a brand new water pioneer. We didn't change the list. But yeah, time to time to change the list now. Let's do Juno. Let's do oh, some more. He said RTA units. Let's do Tiana. Is it? She's not. You know, she can be an RTA unit, but as a just general good unit. Lucia. Lucia has a thirty-three percent ban rate. Lucia is the. Uh, Man, I remember that game, Lufia. <laughs> We're talking about all these old games today. Hey, fire, uh, <laughs> fire pony. <laughs> you, I mean, it's still pony. <coughs> Surprised to see Lucia there. Lucia is a counter to a lot of control units. So it's not like we've done videos showing her. We've, uh, especially after she was buffed to be strong against Oliver. So not not shocking that she is a good unit shocking that more people are understanding now that she's a good unit it took them a while now they're gonna be like no oh, it didn't take me any time i knew she was good the whole time all right five transcendence Do we miss anything else? I wish we got some crazy LDs. I think the LDs were on average, honestly. Okay. Wind Beast Monk, Fire Desert Warrior. Let's uh, feed some dupes if they are dupes. <laughs> and a Fire Beast Monk, okay. 
Let's see which ones of these are dupes. And which ones of these, I don't know why I'm putting them in there. I also don't know why I'm going. I don't know ever where I'm supposed to be going, guys. Really? Okay. Surprising. This is new, right? I was just looking at him in the uh, most band. Let's just let's just double check, shall we? Let's just double check. Yeah, that looks new. Wow, a lot of new stuff. A lot of new stuff. Okay. Can't really complain. A lot of new stuff. The last one, not so new. Right. <laughs> but the other ones, not bad. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, we had a so we had a lot of scrolls, but there's still a lot of uh, a lot of new units there. So, oh yeah, let's put these back. Let's put these back. We don't have to do that. All right, guys. Anyway, that's it for this one. This seven-hour-long video. That's it for this one. Hope you guys getting some good summons this week on your own. It was an hour-long video. I will see you as always in the next one.